beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is the name of jesus christ my king what a beautiful name it is nothing compares to this what a beautiful name it is the name of jesus welcome to our uh, Revival Missions Church Royal Online Service. Uh, my name is Livingston, Pastor Livingston, and uh, <coughs> this is just a branch of uh, Revival Missions Church, and our headquarters is in Roa Kabete, uh, uh, under presiding Bishop James Njoguna. So, right now, there's been a lot of uh, crisis, uh, the crisis that is ongoing right now, and one of the issues is during extraordinary circumstances, like what we have right now, calls for extraordinary actions and we can see it all the ways across the group from corporates the government ministries in our towns in our homes they are actually all over we can see extraordinary actions and one of the things that i've been thinking is and praying to the lord is how do i go through this crisis and there are a few truths that i've identified which i want to share with you for us to go through the crisis uh, because <coughs> It's important to use the word of God. One word from God can change our lives and can be, help us to maneuver and to go through the life uh, challenges that we have. So I've come up with several, and this is the first uh, a series uh, session that we'll be having, a series of six, uh, six series uh, just to take care, uh, cover everything. And some of the points that I've seen is, number one, for us to overcome this crisis, we need to raise an altar of the blood of Jesus. I'll just highlight them and then I'll be in every session, I'll be going to the details and explaining it. So number one, we need to raise the altar of the blood of Jesus because the altar you raise in your life determines the power. Life is spiritual. We are spiritual beings. The altar you raise, the words you speak, what you do in your home, that altar is what will determine the protection uh, that is going on right now. Number two, we need to believe in the completed work of Christ. We've just celebrated Christmas, uh, Easter, and one of the things is Jesus paid it all. And we need to believe that completed work and just to receive it. Number three, we need to enter into God's rest. The Bible says in Hebrews that when we combine the word of God with faith, we'll be able to enter his rest. And when we are in his rest, regardless of the circumstances and the, the, whatever is happening there, we'll have his shalom, we'll have his peace, we'll have the wisdom, we'll know how to do and what to say. And the fourth one is we need to let the peace of God reign in our hearts. We have to let that means you have the power to let out, to refuse uh, fear rain into your hearts. And the fifth one is we need to let the life of God flow in us because the Holy Spirit, he reigns in us and through us. So today we just want to look at the first one and that is to manage the crisis we need to lift and alter the blood of Jesus. And our text is Second Samuel uh, 24, 25. And just to paraphrase the story, this is King David and he was in a scenario where he had sinned against God and he had counted the people, the assessors, and they were are deads within the community and David is a king, is a leader because the back stops with the leader he didn't know what to do but the Bible says in chapter 24-25 that David lifted an altar of the Lord and sacrificed burnt offering and fellowship offering and then the Lord answered his prayers and on behalf of the land and he healed and stopped the praying. Several things we can learn from this. This is in the old dispensation, but we're in the new dispensation of the new covenant. That was in the old covenant. We have the new covenant. Jesus is the executor. He signed the covenant for us. He did it with his blood. He's in a better covenant with better promises. Hallelujah. So as Jesus, as David raised an altar, today we don't need to raise our own altar because Jesus has already raised an altar and out of the blood of Jesus. He paid it all. Isaiah 53 verse 5. And by his stripes we are healed. He's given us access to the Father. He's, the Bible says in Hebrews 10, 19, that right now through the blood of Jesus and the broken body, we can access the holies of holies. Hallelujah. Anytime, 24-7. You don't need anyone. 
at your home, at the sacred place, you can enter in the presence of God. Praise God and take your petitions and he will supply all your needs. So when you lift an altar, today we don't need, we, all we need is to lift the word of God, to lift prayer as, a, as incense before the Father. You need to build an altar in your home. Do you have time for word in your home? Do you have time for prayer? Are you sharing it? Are you using this time with your family to reflect on the word of God? Praise God. You need to do that. Because whatever altar you are raising in your home, is it an altar of Hollywood? Or you're watching his movies? Is it an altar of news? All you're hearing is the negatives of what is happening? No. You need to raise an altar of the word of God. Because the altar you raise, the altar that you raise will determine the power. And there is power in the altar of the blood of Jesus. So when we raise this altar, as we learn several things as we finish, is the altar you raise will determine your power. Today I pray that you raise the altar of the word of God. You raise an altar of prayer. You raise an altar of the blood of Jesus. You speak the blood over your children. You speak the blood over your nation. You speak the blood over your community. You raise the word of God. Number two, David altar and sacrifice terminated the plague, the deaths. The altar you raise will put a security, a protection. The, these children of Israel, they apply the blood at their doorpost. And when the spirit of the angel of death came, he had to pass over. I declare to you, as you raise an altar of the blood of Jesus and the word of God in your home, divine protection, divine safety, divine connection, divine enablement, divine wisdom will be a portion in Jesus' name. Exodus 12, 13, if they apply the blood, this today we apply the word of God because Jesus has finished it all and he's given us power and authority he's given us the power of attorney to use his name today we lift the altar of the blood of Jesus for redemption praise God as I finish I want to ask you with all humility have you accepted the Lord Jesus as the Lord of your life have you, can you raise an altar of the word and prayer in your home because my prayer is you raise it in your home. I raise it in my home. We all raise it in our communities, in our nation. And what will happen? In Kenya, we'll be able to raise an altar of the blood of Jesus. And I'm telling you, there is power in the altar that we raise the blood of Jesus. And we'll have divine protection. So if you're there today, and you want to say yes, I want to give my life to Jesus today. I want to raise this altar. I want to change from the altars that I've been raising and raise the word of God and prayer and change everything, direct everything in my home and whatever sphere of influence that God has given me, let us pray together. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, you believe with your heart and you speak and you confess and you be born again. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, just repeat after me. Father, I accept you today. I confess that you are the Lord because I believe in my heart. Help me to know the word and to grow in this grace in Jesus name. Amen. For the rest of us, let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. As we go through this series and just to understand how we will go through this crisis by your word, we thank you because we raise the altar of the blood of Jesus in our homes, in our communities, in our nation. We pull down any other altar that is not of God in our nation. And we declare the life of God overflows in our cities, the peace of God, the shalom of God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you for the altar. Speak it, oh hallelujah, better things. We worship you. We exalt you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us today. Please join us on Sunday for a second hour session as we go. Just to understand, how do we face, how do we go through this crisis? Invite somebody and let somebody invite somebody else. Uh, you can reach us on the number that is uh, across the screen. Hallelujah. And thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. Let's all together lift the altar of the blood of Jesus in our homes, in our communities, in our nation. And as he as God did for David, he delivered the people and the people of Israel. He'll deliver our nation today. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you.